Luke chapter 7, verse 1. When Jesus had finished saying all this to the people who were listening, he entered Capernaum. There's a centurion servant whom his master valued highly. He was sick and he was about to die. So the centurion, this officer, this man who's over many soldiers, has a servant who serves probably in his home or maybe in his office. And his servant is sick. He's about to die. This is a bad illness, a bad sickness. And the centurion pulls on his relationships that he has. He talks to the Jewish elders. He talks to the Jewish leaders. And he sends them to Jesus, asking him to come and heal his servant. When they came to Jesus, they pleaded earnestly with him. This man had influence. This man had relational equity. He, he could talk to the Jewish elders and they went on his behalf to talk to Jesus. And they said, Jesus, please come heal this man's servant. Jesus, please come help this man. And they would say, why? They say, this man deserves to have you do this. This is a good man. This man deserves God moving on his behalf. Why? Because he loves our nation and has built our synagogue. He loves the nation of Israel. He loves God's people. And he's built the temple. He's built the church. Not only does he love God's people, but he's also helped build a church for them. It's his, his passion for the Lord was incredible. They were saying, he loves God. This isn't just some miracle for some random guy, Jesus. This guy's the real deal. This guy loves the Lord. This guy loves people. And the miracle is not even for him. It's for his servant, Jesus. If there was ever a guy who you needed to come give the hookups with a miracle, if you will, if there was ever a guy that you needed to come perform a miracle for, it's this guy, Jesus. So Jesus listens and it says in verse six that he goes with them. He was not far from the house when the centurion sent friends to say to him, Lord, don't trouble yourself. Lord, don't, don't trouble yourself traveling here for I do not deserve to have you come under my roof. Wow, that's impressive. An officer, someone of great status in the military, someone who was in the Roman army who had conquered the Jews, someone who could honestly, probably could demand Jesus come to his home or could force Jesus to come to his home. He says, Lord, no, you don't even have to travel to my home. I'm not worthy. He said, I'm not even worthy to have you come under my roof. That is why I sent these men for you. I don't consider myself worthy. Verse eight, for I myself am a man under authority with soldiers under me. I tell this one, go, and he goes. And that one come and he comes. I say to my servant, do this. And he does it. He said, I have authority and I'm a man under authority. Whenever my leaders tell me to do something, I do it. Whenever those that serve underneath me, I tell them to do it, they do it. He says, I understand authority. Jesus, I understand that you have authority. He would say it in verse seven, but say the word and my servant will be healed. He said, Jesus, I understand that there's authority that you carry. If you say it, it'll happen. Verse nine, and I want you to catch this. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him. Some translations would say that he marveled. He, he, did, he did the old step back like, whoa, wow. This is, this is incredible. I've never seen, I tell you, I've not found such great faith in Israel. I've never seen faith like this not even from my own people. I've, I've looked through Israel, I've traveled through Israel, and I have not seen, catch this, such great faith in Israel. He didn't just have faith, he had great faith. He didn't have tiny faith, he didn't have a little faith, he had great faith. He had such a great faith that it impressed, it caught the intention of our Lord, and he, he stepped back, he marveled at it, he was amazed, he was pleased. Hebrews tells us that without faith, it's impossible to please God that we must believe that he is and he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. He was amazed. He marveled at the faith of the centurion. And it said, the men who had been sent returned to the house and found the servant well. Jesus never actually went to his home. Jesus was amazed at his faith. Jesus marveled at his faith. And because of his faith, his servant was healed. I love this story. I, I love... I love it because, one, he wasn't Jewish, which means that he didn't grow up in the Jewish culture. He didn't grow up in the church, if you will. He, you know, you have these Christians who are like, oh, well, you know, I was, I was born in a Christian home. I served in a Christian home. Jesus is all that I've ever known. And, and they have a great faith walk because they were raised uh, generationally with a family that had a faith walk. And I believe that's awesome. I'm, I'm like that. 
I gave my life to the Lord when, in my child years and I've walked with God all my life. I think that's awesome. But I also think it's awesome, and I think what makes this story incredible is that this man from another culture, this man from another background, this man who probably really was in a, a perverted culture, a culture of the Roman culture that really was anti-Christ, anti-God, anti-things of the word, and he found a love for God. And he found such a love for God and such a respect for God that he lived out the word of God. He loved his neighbor as himself. He loved his servant. Even those who were under him, he served them. And I love his faith. I love that he caught the heart of the scripture. I love that he sent um, leaders to Jesus and told them, Jesus, I need you. Jesus, I trust you. Jesus, you don't even have to come into my home. I'm not even worthy to have you around me, Jesus. I just trust you. Jesus, if you say it, you have authority, it'll happen. I love, I love, I love the story. It encourages me so. It strengthens my faith, if you will. Because I want to be the kind of man, I want us to be men, I want us to be women who have not just faith, but have great faith. Who trust God, not just with some things, but trust God in all things. And believe that He is, and He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Let's diligently seek God, and let's believe Him in every moment. Let's live out great faith. Be blessed today.